<clears throat> Hello fellow travelers. We've got our 6x12 Vino's conversion and today I'm working on version 2 of our bike rack. In the back here, which we went with the barn doors, we have our garage and our bed. But today our focus will be in here. And we are going to be rebuilding our fork mount setup because this cheap plumbing setup while very YouTube friendly is not uh, actually that effective at holding our bikes in place. I could probably do a few more things to make it work better, but I honestly can't be bothered to spend that time. Um, I want it to work easy, I want it to be something I can do all the time with minimal effort, and right now this requires a lot of effort. So uh, I upgraded and I'll show you that upgrade today. All right, one last time just for YouTube, we'll show why this is a pain in the ass. So, first glance, that's not too bad, right? Like that actually looks like it's kind of doing what we want it to do. But, as you can see, and what you can't see, is that I had to dremel out the insides of these to get them big enough to fit an actual 15 mil axle. In the process, they got weaker. So this one's actually now cracked and cracked just from driving down a few roads but not only that the whole thing twists so when we hit bumps this is twisting and the bikes are falling over we cannot have that that will not do so today we're installing an upgrade Twelve millimeter adapter instructions. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
so this is built out of only one inch plywood so that I can put in longer screws to mount these and so that these are sitting on something else that they can torque on. I'm going to put another piece of plywood underneath here. So I pre-cut one. It's just big enough. And we're going to get that going. So let's see here. No good. So we're using inch and a half screws, which are just a little bit too long. But these inch screws don't feel like they'd be nearly enough. Because they can really sink them in there. idea.
Nice. Lots of clearance. So much easier. That's so much better, it's not even funny. Yeah. Now, before anybody starts thinking I'm too smart, just be aware. I don't really build a whole lot of things out of wood. This project in its entirety is sort of the first big thing I ever have done or been involved with. And all I had for this bike tray when I started was this drawing and this layout and eventually we might put a second drawer in here like it shows in the drawing but right now that would limit this spare tire and we haven't really found a need for it as of yet because we haven't been carrying our road bikes but we kind of would like to have that option so we'll see what we do here in the future anyway you can build it too it's not that hard just go out there and Try, buy a few tools, rent a few tools, do what you gotta do. But yeah, think outside the box. Don't spend $800 on drawer sliders and the junk that they wanna sell you to make this happen. This was under 100 bucks and it works fantastic. Well, I guess with these it's now a lot more expensive, but you'd need to buy those if you bought the drawer sliders too. <laughs> 